What up? I'm Mark Franchise from the Independence Pro Wrestling Commentary Team, and you're watching Michigan Independent Weekly. Mother bitch. Welcome to another version of the Independence. We talk about what's going down up in this wrestling business. Hosted by the boss, his name is Cody Fleming. That's the homeboy. Go home, boy, before you get evicted. We about to get it on. Your boy Josh Harper, the favorite general. The real deal, him, lady Bills is a beast with the mouthpiece. Talk dumb, and up on the floor. Tell me when to go. Every week we do this. Hit him with a little bit of sweet chin music. And I only beef over cake like Brutus. The barber, and then over him, I dub. Go hard like. Where do we come from? What do we do? Dissect matches and break down moves. You are tuned in to an interlude. When I look into the middle of your mind, that's an interview. Independent, you better get with the movement. We only win and we never been in the losing. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and see us on the news. So that we are about to do that. Oh, oh, man. I see now Dan's not here. So everything's messed up on the screen now. So I have to fix everything. I guess it's but it looks so good. It's like, I guess it's not a bad problem to have, right? Who looks good? Are you saying you look good? Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was going with. Yeah, I think I leaned into the signs more. Oh. Okay. I'm oh, you moved it just in time. Oh, look at me. I'm so great. Josh. Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. I'd like to welcome everybody. Since he's busy, I get to welcome everybody I think this to is the first. This is a first, and I would like to welcome everybody to episode 131 of Michigan Independent Weekly. That is M I W. It is Tuesday. How you doing today? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Hope you're doing good. Now, tonight, we're going to talk, uh, talk to you about Sanctuary, which happened on Sunday. We'll give you the results from that show. We will also be talking about all the great wrestling that's going to be happening coming up this weekend in the Great Mitt State. But first, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Happy Harper, Josh Harper, the technically undefeated person in, in, in Indie Idol. And I would also like to introduce the creator of Wrestling Rage, the hardest working man that is on this channel currently. <laughs> I'd like to welcome the only man that can go to a wrestling show and drink so much that other people get hangovers. It's the originator of R2YouTube.com, Cody Fleming. Anyways, what up? Thanks for doing the intro while I was fixing the screen. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, I figured it was nicer than just staring at my face. They can yeah. only take that for so long. That is like true. Into the sun. That's right. Um, so thanks for Josh. You know, hey, woo, Josh. Uh, unfortunately, Danny is not able to be with us tonight. Uh, he should be back for Rage on Sunday. So yay for that. Um so since Josh did the intro, I'm going to take your little spot here. Please, please, if you are new here, subscribe. If you're new here, hit the bell. If you're not new here and haven't hit the bell, hit the bell. If you are new here or not new here and haven't hit the bell, hit the bell. And then when you hit the bell, make sure you just choose all, right? All notifications. All, all notifications uh but this is the wrestling rage youtube channel but you are not here for wrestling rage you are in fact here for michigan independent weekly as he said uh, before the bell does allow you to be notified when new things come available like indie idol promos right because that those were released the, uh sunday after wrestling rage and then the judges were live yesterday and we had technical difficulties again. That made me mad, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, awesome stuff. Um, remind everybody to smash the thumbs up, Josh, right? They got to smash the thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up. And uh, the chat is open. Ask questions. Well, I wouldn't say ask questions because I re we're not really in the Q&A. We're not in the Q&A. We don't do a Q&A anymore. Remember when we used to do a Q&A at the end of the show of Rast and Rage before you guys became co-hosts? And it was, what was it called? I can't remember. There was all, I think I, I'll have to look. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to do 
a memory lane. Are you ready? Hold on. Let me see. Where is it at? Legit wrestling question. Oh, it's kind of fun when I remember used to that. Watch it. Yeah, so there, there that was legit wrestling questions. We used to do that on Wrestling Rage back in the day, but we haven't done that in a while. Uh, but I, that was a little nostalgia for everybody. So I played the legit wrestling questions intro. I see it. I see it. I see it. It looks so good. It, it looks. But- Folks, it is Tuesday, and that means it's MIW, so we are going to be giving you all the information for all the shows, and lately we've been having like 19 shows every week, so this week we have a, we have two. That's it. But you know what? It's the calm before the storm, and there's still two great shows in the state of Michigan, so you can still get your wrestling fix this weekend. And like I said earlier, we do have the results from Sanctuary Fight Club, and that was from Han Tramit. We will be going over that shortly. But first, and they never let me do this because I say things wrong too much, but (laughs) I get to thank our sponsors. I'd like to say thank you to F5 Wrestling. I'd like to say thank you to American Wrestling Experience, to Davidson Sarai, to the spider, to the black sheep, Justin Dream, to the Michigan made monster, Mongo, and PKSA Port Huron. Thank you very, very much Wait. to all of our current sponsors. Thank you, you to missed one. future sponsors like you. You missed one. You want to be a future sponsor? You missed one. Who that is? Oh, yeah. Grizzly Pro. Grizzly Pro Wrestling. Fired. Okay, Who's uh, Grizzly Pro Wrestling, I'd like to thank you especially very much. Well, I can't wait until the next show because you know that there is going to be my brain just blanked on me. The heavyweight championship match? No. Shauna Reed is going to be at the next oh, yes. show. And I have not gotten to see Shauna Reed in a long time. So Grizzly Pro Wrestling, thank you very much. But thank you to any future sponsors also. Do you want to be a future sponsor? All you have to do is get a hold of Cody and you can go from being a future sponsor Two to weeks. a current sponsor for the low, low price of $20. That's true. You see all those logos? We're just waiting on Mongo's logo, but we'll put your logo up there on all of our stuff, right? On Rage and MI Dub. I want to make that specific. If it goes on other things, that's a bonus, right? Uh-huh. So then... Uh, well, yeah, guaranteed Rage and MI Dub. I'm going to guarantee Rage and MI Dub. And then if you look down in the description, all their links, including Mongo's, are right down there in the description. If you're on your cell phone, it'll be there will be a little arrow over there. You click the arrow down, and then it'll bring that down, and then you'll get all that. Or if you're on the live chat, you hit the X, and then you hit the arrow. And then if you want to get back to the live chat, you hit the X again and go to live chat. Bada bing. That's a lot more better for our statistics than leaving and coming back like I normally do. You don't do that. (laughs) Bad, bad Josh, bad Josh. But uh, so, yeah, we're going to go to this thing and we're going to come back and we're going to go over sanctuary results, eh? So we yep. got Sanctuary Fight Club out of Sanctuary. My phone is going nuts with the words right now. I don't know what is going on. But anyways, so when we come back after this, results from Sanctuary, info for PPW and info for MPW, Metro Pro and Pure Pro Wrestling. So when we come back. It's time to talk about Michigan Independent Wrestling. Tune into the channel, check your internet connection. Hola, seniors. Welcome back to Michigan. In- almost said, almost said wrestling rage. Welcome back to Michigan Independent Weekly. Uh, so we are back and we're going to start off with results from Sunday, April 24th, Sanctuary Fight Club at the Sanctuary. Interesting how that is. It's in Hamtramck. 
Uh, match number Hana, Crimson. Yeah, you heard that right. Crimson defeats James Alexander and Sherman Walker in a triple threat. In match me, Joe DeMauro took on Solo and was able to beat the anime assailant. Jody Threat defeats Juntai of Lotus. Yes, you heard that correctly. After the match, Juntai attacked Threat. And Idr- how do you say that name? Idris Abraham. Thank you. And Joel Coleman made his return from injury and reunited Hala Beefcake to continue their feud with Lotus. I miss a long beefcake. The Mullinator, Sam Beal, took on Brian Castle. And, of course, the man with those luscious locks came out on top. If Would you wear your, if you had hair like Sam Beal, would you wear it such as Sam Beal with the perm and all that? Are you asking if the person that was always upset he couldn't have straight hair so that he could headbang, uh, headbang would also wear a mullet and gladly go to every Garth Brooks concert if he had the money? I didn't say that. I said, would you have your hair the same way Sam Beal does? If you, you had bet hair. your achy, breaky heart, I would. <laughs> Great. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. So then we have Dickie Bronson defeating Shane Saber, who was with DC Howe. In the main event, it was Jason Hotch. That is the gut check winner. Jason Hotch took on Ren Jones in a Thrash Zone match to become the number one contender for the Thrash Zone title. And after a hard-hitting battle, Jason Hotch came out on top. You could say he's like top three notches. Thrash Zone title. Thrashing. All right, so... Now, right, we're moving on to the events scheduled for the weekend. Both of these events will take place on Saturday, April 30th. Uh, the f- one is going down in Wyandotte, the other is in Flint. That is correct. Uh, Josh is not going to Metro Pro this weekend. Dan and I will be at Metro Pro because Dan's no longer going to Pure Pro. Oh, so okay. Sucks to be you, Josh. Uh, but anyways, they do bring Metro Pro in Wyandotte. It's going to be at the VFW Hall in Wyandotte. All right. It is called April Assault. That is right. The address is 633 Ford Road. I feel like we've been on Ford Road a lot lately. Yeah, so anyways, the doors open for this event at 6.45 with a bell time scheduled for 7.30. Tickets for this event are adults $15, kids 12 and under only $5. All tickets can be purchased at the door. Matches we know of are Forever Young versus Jack Price, another gut chat winner. In a pre-show match, you're going to have Big Murph. Uh, One of our friends. He's one of our new friends. He likes us so much. Yeah. He'll be teaming with Niles Gray and Jason DeMilo to take on the congregation with Pastor Patterson. I like that name, Pastor Patterson. I like that. It works. I'm a comic book nerd. I need alliteration. (laughs) I like it. So then Isaiah Moore, the human highlight. Versus the Indie Idol 2021 winner and current 2022 Indie Idol judge, Alex Van Zant. That should be good. 
Sam Beal will be taking on Tyler Coleman. No, let's let's get that right. Sam Beal is going to defeat Kyler Coleman. I don't know. I will I will say this, okay? It's not very often that I say that Kyler Coleman has a solid chance of winning, okay? Do you know how much money Sam Beal has to spend on a weekly basis to keep his hair looking that way? Whatever. And Kyler Coleman comes out with that spray bottle. If he starts spraying at Sam Beal, Sam Beal might run for the hills. Kyler Coleman has a chance of winning this match. No. Anyways, moving on. Gutter will be facing none other than the Soul Taker. Gutter's soul doesn't matter. Josh, your soul doesn't matter. My soul doesn't matter because no souls matter. Remember that time we interviewed him and he wanted us all to say the N word? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the only one that didn't. Yeah. Oh, man. Say it. <laughs> Say it, Cody. Here, Eagle will be taking on the man with the adamantium abs. That's Lamario Star. Hold on, man. Hello, Dre. Dre's in the chat. Nice to see you, sir. Uh, I am doing good, Shane. Thank you for asking. Josh, how are you doing? Doing fantastic. My voice still sounds like trash, and that's because of Oops All Bangers. Oops All Bangers. Now, look at this. Top tier Tanner Nix, your buddy, your buddy, will be facing the one-legged wonder, Zach Gowan. I think LJ should have broke his leg when he had a chance. <laughs> Metro Pro Tag Team Champions TJ Meyer and Solo will defend their titles against Dre Jacobs and Chris Moore. <laughs> you champ! Oh, that's it. Destroy them! <laughs> like, I love Solo. I love Solo. But the idea of Dre getting his hands on TJ and then beating him with his own crowbar and taking his belt, that's. The crowbar should be banned from the ring. Not if Dre's going to use it. Well, I'm just saying. But now. The DTA's lovable psychopath, none other than Tommy Vendetta, one of the fastest rising stars in the independence right now, will face an opponent of Metro Pro Wrestling's choosing owner, right? Owner, Bubba Luscious. So Bubba Luscious is gonna Bubba Luscious is gonna choose his opponent. And this is his ploy. He's still on this ploy, or whatever you want to say, to get rid of the DTA in Metro Pro. I just say you don't book him, and you, then it's fine. But, hey, whatever. I feel like if you don't book DTA, DTA just shows up. I don't know about that, but all right. And in the main event, the undisputed Metro Pro champion, top-notch Jason Hotch, will be defending his championships against Ring of Honor's Tony Deppin. Now, it does say, will be defending his championships. I don't want any of that. We never said it was a championship match bull crap. That's what will happen. Shenanigans. Might as well put Chinstrap Jesus in there. He's a shenanigist. Shenanigist? That needs to be the next shirt. Shenanigist. shenanigist. Now, from the Iceland Arena in Flint, Michigan, Pure Pro Wrestling presents the All-County Wrestling Tournament. The address for this event is 1160 Elms Road, Ringside, Rows 1 and 2, Sold out. Sucks to be you. All other floor seats are $15 for and GA is only 10 bucks. Doors open at 6 p.m. 
Uh, there is a student showcase bout that starts at 615. The bell time for this event, the official bell time, is 7 p.m. That's right, 7 p.m. Matches that we know about are the first of all, the all county, the all county wrestling tournament is going to take place at this event. Four hand picked senseis will select a team of four professional wrestlers wrestlers, excuse me, to compete in a one night tournament. Each team will feature one tag team and two singles competitors. Wow. One of which must be a future contender and a student of pure pro wrestling. Each match, each match victory will be worth one point. The team with the most total points shall be declared the all-county wrestling champions. These four teams must find a way to cast aside their differences and work together to achieve one common goal. And that goal is to become the first wrestlers to receive the honor, the glory, the praise for being an all-county wrestling champion. The teams are Team Father Time, Gideon Malice, Tenshi, Samson Real, and Jerish Gray. Ooh. With Sensei being Father Time, the former Michigan heavyweight champion, Michigan's Miracle Man. You have Team James Alexander with the Nomads, the Amazing Zondo, and Sean Mordecai. Team Jack Kelly, Dylan Knight, Mr. One, Knight, Only, Nick Zero, and David Weston. Ooh, Team Aaron O'Ryan with Danny Astro, Kid Easy, Dylan Derringer, and King Naba. Plus, on top of that, we're going to have the Lethal Ladies of Wrestling in a no-count-out match as Alexis Royale will be taking on Heather Blue. Bing, that's it. That's all we got. That's two. Stuff, something I do want to make sure people know, okay? Uh -oh. For Metro Pro Wrestling, it's the same great Metro Pro Wrestling that you're used to. It's the same amazing Metro Pro Wrestling prices that you're used to, but it is at a different venue. It is at the VFW Hall in Wyandotte. The address again, that's 633 Ford Road for Metro Pro Wrestling. It is not at the other place. Exactly. You show up at the other place, the only thing you're going to be able to do is get some Burger King and go home. <laughs> <laughs> I think that every time. So, <laughs> so right across the street staring at me. I'm fat. Before we get out of here, um, so Josh, Indy Idol, round two in the books. We have our winners. We have our tires. We have our losses. But everybody moves on. I think we're going to do at least five rounds before we go down to, it depends if we have, if we have a, 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 if there isn't a top four, right? We all have to do another round, but regardless of that, um, yeah, some people grew, got better. And then some people, I'm not sure what happened, but, um, I really hope that those folks understand that everything that was said yesterday on that live, and if you watch it, is not meant to be a, uh, to degrade somebody or to make them feel small or anything. It's to help them get better. Uh, it's that's not what it's critiques. It's not you suck. Nothing like that. And there's a lot of good information in there, specific, especially from Alex Van Zant and Johnny Delicious. Um, you know, I don't do a lot of critiques because I don't, there's things that I like as a fan, but I'm as a, prof, I'm not a professional wrestler. So there's certain things I say and will say and won't say, you know what I mean? It's just, that's the way I roll. Um, regardless of that, a lot of people stepped up their game in this one. And I really hope that 
more people step up their game in the next one. The next one, stipulation, tables. It's a tables match. It's a tables match. It's going to be great. I know who's facing who. I haven't made the graphics yet. I'll have those. I'll start working those on those tomorrow probably. And get that done. And then uh, we'll start announcing the matches. Like they, you guys already know. Everybody that's participating, they already know who they're facing so they can get ready. Um, and then their promos won't be due until what, the 6th, right? May 6th. May 6th. Before midnight on and Friday, that, May 6th. Yeah, that gives them ample amount of time to do what they need to do. If And, and it gives me time to, to uh, hype it up a little bit and create the graphics and all that stuff for it. So, And then it gives everybody a little bit of a break, you know, to – you know, because this stuff isn't easy as much as people might think it is. It's, it, there's a lot of thought that goes into those promos. You know, like I know, like just, you know, since you're here just talking with you, your first promo, you said you, you did that one. How many takes? 97 times. 97. Now this second one, how many did the second one take? Uh, I broke it into parts. So that way, if I messed up, I wouldn't have to do the whole thing over again, which was one of my big personal things. So that way I'm not trying to do the, the whole thing, getting halfway through stuttering and going, yeah. So I think I did the first part 12 times. I only did the middle part once. And then the end part I did like 10 times. That's not bad though. And that's the beauty of doing something like this, where I could, compared to say, cutting a live promo in a ring, which you were supposed to do. Um, you know, you, you're able to do things like that and edit and, and things like that in the video. But if you were to cut that live promo, you wouldn't have that. You would have to just keep going. Um, but I was going to get the crowd to say, suck it! <laughs> I would have fulfilled like a 10-year-old me. How much did you change your promo from what you were because when we found out that you weren't going to be able to do it live how much did you change was it a lot yeah i had a whole beginning part where i introduced myself to everybody went through my names and then i was going to get the crowd to say suck it really the only thing that stayed was the thor thing okay and that's just because i have a really cool version of balnir <laughs> i think that's it I, I thought one of uh, one of um, AVZ's critiques was, well, it'd make more sense for, like, Batman. I have the Batman mask, but I also have Mjolnir, so that's why I did Thor. Like, <laughs> hey, I, whatever. It worked for you. That's all that matters. If it wasn't you, then it wouldn't work right. Uh, but, so, yeah, we're moving on, and we will announce, probably starting tomorrow, the matches, and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, thank you to everybody for joining us tonight. Make sure you scroll down in the description and you like uh, and follow all of our stuff on social media. Click the bell, as Josh is so gracefully pointing out. Subscribe if you haven't, well, all that stuff. Before we get out of here, I do want to say thank you one more time to our sponsors because that is part of the deal. Uh, Davison Sarai, thank you to you. American Wrestling Experience, definitely thank you. The Black Sheep Justin Street Dream. Yes, thank you to you too, sir. Grizzly Pro Wrestling. Thank you to you, all of you over there. The Spider, one third of the Pro Wrestling All Stars Trios Champion. F5 Wrestling. Thank you to you, you. and PKSA Port Huron. Or PKSA Karate Port Huron, where I used to train. Uh, and then also to Mongo, the Michigan made monster mongo thank you to you all their links are down in the description please like subscribe do all that stuff buy their merch buy mongo's shirt it was pointed out that mongo was wearing his new shirt in his promo he has a brand new shirt available for sale so if you look at his promo you will see that he's wearing that new shirt so if you're interested go check that promo out which they're available on the r2 youtube wrath and rage youtube channel we will be back here on Sunday for Rass and Rage. Rass and Rage is where we give you all the results that we can, that we have available uh, for the events that are taking place. Hopefully, I, I see us for sure having Metro Pro Wrestling. I hope we can get Pure Pro Wrestling. We don't really have a contact over there. Uh, but Josh, or not Josh, Dan ends up 
having a way sometimes. So I hope that we get dude is like we. I give him a lot of crap because it's fun, but he's really good at getting this stuff together. Yeah, for sure. Like if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Cody does all the technical stuff. Dan's normally getting the information. I show up and annoy people. I have no clue why I'm still on this show. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. All right. So yeah. now, well, yeah, what you see, like, but when we get in a jam, you're like, oh, yeah, I can help. You know, so, but anyways, now we are going to get out of here. So I want to say thank you to all of you out there that watch this show and like and subscribe and do all those things if you haven't had on if you haven't followed us over on podbean or wherever you listen to your podcast please do that because we do release audio of our episodes as well so please make sure you do that again thank you for joining us josh thanks for hanging out uh unfortunately again dan couldn't be with us so we hope everything's working out for him over there and we will be back here on sunday at 7 p.m. for Rass and Rage, right here on the Rass and Rage YouTube channel. That's at r2youtube.com. That's the letter R, the number two, youtube.com. You guys have yourself a great night, and we're going to get out of here. Later. Let's do it now! This is Rasslin' Rage! Let's do it now! This is Rasslin' Rage!